It's your boy EJT. We back. We got another tier list for you. We are gonna go ahead and rank out of all the opals. You can go ahead and snag for 750 tokens. I know that's a lot of tokens to be spending on a Galaxy Opal in this game. I definitely messed up and grabbed a few of these cards so I can uh, attest from experience what tier they're in. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Let me know how you feel where I'm gonna rank these uh, Galaxy Opals. All right, lost it for a minute. We're back now. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start with my man, David Robinson right here now. I'm sure a lot of people picked this card up. He was one of the first out of the three Galaxy Opals, I believe it was Grand Hill, him and Penny Hardaway. And obviously people are gonna go with David Robinson. Now he did have an Evo later on in the year, but they didn't give him Hall of Fame range extender. Come on now. I mean, they're giving all these centers Hall of Fame range extender. You can't give David Robinson range extender. So for that reason, that reason alone, I mean, he has steady shooter as well. So, and he has a nice jump shot, but he just misses wide open jump shot. So for that matter, out of all these cards, definitely he's not S tier. I'm going to put him, I'll put him in B tier. David Robinson does have some nice animations. He can still back people down. I mean, he plays really good defense, so put him in put him in B tier. Next up, we have John Collins. Now this card right here. Stats is crazy. Hall of Fame range extender. Uh, great defender. Uh, I would say they could have made his ball handle. I know John Collins animations aren't the greatest so if anything he's probably a little stiff but i'll go ahead and put him in a tier john collins next up we have tony parker and you see and it's crazy because he has a really really nice jump shot it gets off really quick but um i'm gonna have to put him in d tier you know six foot one point guard pretty much useless I mean, the jumper is the only thing that saves him, but, you know, he was a nice card. If they would have brought his driving dunk up maybe to like a 95, I know he did have an Evo, but, I mean, six foot one. It's, I mean, I mean, yeah, Tony Parker, D tier. Next up, we got Job Morant. Pretty much the same thing with him. I mean, this is a little bit better of a Derrick Rose, Baron Davis, you know, type of clone card six foot three so he's a little bit better than tony parker so he's gonna be able to attack the basket you know get get to the rim but you know you could make an argument that he's in he's in b tier you could you know you could make that argument but um we'll go ahead and keep him in c tier next up we have penny hardaway Penny Hardaway, I'm gonna put him in C tier as well. The jump shot is baited. That's the only thing I don't like about this card. He's he's kind of stiff. The animations, he's not really ball handled, isn't glitchy. He plays, his defense lacks too. I don't know. The only thing that really saves this card is he's six foot seven. Um, he has pretty good animations when it comes to going to the basket. Goes, goes for the hole really, really strong. He's my starting point guard for a long time. Even with the Evo, he doesn't get that that much better. I mean, that pink diamond penny from last year was way better. So we're going to put him in C tier. Next, we got Tim Duncan. And this one hurts. And this one hurts because I spent 750 tokens on this man myself. We're going to put him in D tier. You know, I think they gave him gold, quick draw, no range extender. See, if they come out with a goat, Timmy might be worth it you know 99 everything if they would have gave him an evo and gave him hall of fame range extender hall of fame quick draw because you know lord knows uh tim duncan need hall of fame quick draw because his jumper is slow otherwise tim duncan's his animations are great you know it's just the uh, shooting just kills that car 
Next up, we got DeMar DeRozan. We're gonna put him in S tier. You know, definitely one of the few cards if you're gonna pick up out of these 750 tokens, you wanna get, he has that T-Mac base. Ball handles great. Drives to the basket, plays pretty good defense. S tier, no doubt about it. Next up, we got Bob Pettit. He's a pretty good card. Um, I'm gonna put him in A tier. You know, nothing real glitchy about Bob Pettit this year. He's just a solid card, six foot nine. So, you know, he's gonna do all right in the post. Has a good jump shot. I'm not sure if he has that base 11 like he had last year, but he's all right. We're gonna put him in A tier. Next up, we got Jaron Jackson. We're gonna put him in B tier. Seems a little stiff. Stiff in the hips, ball handle not really there, but the the jumper, pretty good defense. He's only six foot eleven, so you know you might have to run him at the power four because there are some centers at seven two and Yao Ming at seven six. That you know if your center is not at least seven feet, seven foot one, it's gonna hurt you. So, but the jumper's wet, Hall of Fame range. So we're gonna put him in, put him in B. Next up, we got Gilbert. We're gonna put Gilbert in C tier. I don't know why they made this card after they just put another Galaxy Shovel in the Spotlight Sims. They just upped his stats just a, just a little bit. I mean, six foot three point guard, probably a little bit better than John ja Morant. I would, I would get him over that John ja Morant, but C tier. I don't even know why. 2K did that, just trying to recycle content. Next up, we got Richard Jefferson. And Richard Jefferson, we're going to have to put him in S tier. That pink diamond earlier in the year was super nice. This card stats is off the chain, 94 ball handle. Could you imagine Richard Jefferson with a 94 ball handle can do everything. S tier, that card, beautiful. Next up, we got Josh Smith. We're gonna put him in A tier. He's, you know, you could make an argument for S tier. You could, you know, if he had a Hall of Fame range extender, I would say S tier, no doubt about it, but he has the dunking animations. He's gonna drive to the hoop, can handle the ball. Uh, great rebounder. I would, I would play him at the four, but I would definitely put him in A tier. Next up, we got Moe Bamba, S tier. Got them glitchy animations, ball handle, Hall of Fame range, 7-2, real, real tall, great defender, can move his feet well, S tier, that's, that's a definite pickup. Next up, we got Zach Levine, and uh, see, I, I wasn't a big fan of this card, and to be honest with you, I'm going to put him, I'm not going to do that. I would put him in D tier, but I know some of y'all probably gonna, you know, get at me in the comments. So I'm gonna put him in C tier. I didn't like this card, you know. It just, they gave him an 86 ball handle. Come on now. If they'd have given him like a 92, 94, Zach exactly, Levine, it would have been a whole different story. Um, he was dropped a while ago, so he only had 35 Hall of Fame badges. No Evo. He does have Hall of Fame range extender. They just didn't make Zach exactly Levine as glitchy as they could have this year. Next up, we got Nicholas Batum. And we are gonna have to put him into S tier. That jump shot, great defense. You know, that diamond card they made earlier in the year. That was a goaded card, so, you know, definitely if you're gonna pick up 750 tokens, it's gonna be a small forward, you know, you, you could argue, put him in, put him in A. You could argue A, just like you could argue Richard Jefferson A or S. I'm fine with that. You know what? Next up, we got Amari, S tier, no doubt about it. <laughs> that card. This is what Blake Griffin should have looked like. Man, he's Hall of Fame range. He can play in the post. He can play defense. Quick jump shot. His ball handle is crazy. And and he'll dunk on you. No doubt about it. S tier. Speaking of S tier, we got Bow Bow. That's the last card we're going to put in the S tier. 
Man, that, that bull ball. See, if, if I had him, I, I would run him at the stretch four, seven two, ball handle of a 90. You could get up to a 93. If you put him at the small four, you could probably even get it up to like a 97, 98. Maybe uh, that, this bull ball, super nice. I would grab him. This would be the first card I would get out of all of these. Then it would probably be, you know, you can have an argument for Amari Mo. You know, Mari, Demar, Moe Bamba. You know, then probably these two. But uh, yeah, Bobo. No doubt about it, man. That card is super glitchy. Way better than the Opal. They released earlier in the year. Next up, we got Grant Hill. And I'm not gonna lie. You know, his Evo gave him Hall of Fame range extender. I did like this card. I'm gonna put him in B tier. You know, he would trust me. He wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't all that. You know what I'm saying? You know, the jumper was pretty all right, but Grant Hill has the dunking animations. The defense was amazing. So for that alone, I'm gonna put him in B tier. Next up, we got Bradley Bill. Super nice jump shot. The ball handle is is there. Defense, really really good car. I'm gonna put him in A tier. Bradley Bill, you know, I wouldn't say he's worth 750 tokens because uh, I because it's probably only you know two of them that probably where I definitely wish I, I, I wouldn't have spent so many tokens, especially after the token reward they just dropped. You know, I, I picked up Tim, I picked up Penny, I picked up Grant, I picked up David, picked up Demar, picked up. Amari, so that alone is almost 4,500 tokens. So probably next year I'm gonna just wait because they, you know, I, I definitely see what 2K doing. They just dropping a bunch of boo boo opals in the beginning and then at the end they just bring nothing but fire. So either way, it's your boy EJT. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment down below. We out. Back. Like I never left Nike all on me, I deserve a check Niggas mad, I got them upset I ain't live for muscle, but I still flex She ain't talking money, then I got no interest Ballin' on these niggas, what I do best Any nigga hate man, tell them niggas stay I'm on the way right now I'm making plays right now